Hello everyone, welcome to Horizon tutorial number 4. In this tutorial, we'll be dealing with how to plot mass spec data. So, you will expect to see a plot that looks like this, where you have the intensity versus the match to charge uh, ratio. Why not let us just dive straight into it? Uh, see you in Origin. Like I said, we will be plotting a mass spectrometry data. And now I have my data already imported into Origin. So just go ahead and make a plot uh, of the X, which is the mass to charge ratio, and the Y, uh, which is the intensity. So we'll go to plot, and we are going to plot uh, scatter in this case. Uh, we just click OK. So this is in the speed mode. This is something that happens, uh, you know, sometimes in origin just goes to the speed mode, which I don't really like. So you can turn this off by clicking this uh, running man symbol. And it goes back to the normal mode. All right. You can see that we have a lot of uh, data points. And uh, normally, if you uh, know mass spec, it's most of the time like a single vertical line so how are we going to do that uh the simplest way i find to go around this and this is one of the tricky things about uh, plotting mass spec data but the, the simplest way to do that would be to uh, double click one of these uh, data points so i double click this and then a window pops up right here so in this uh, window, uh, what I would do would be to uh, go to drop line. And then I would choose a vertical since I want my lines to the vertical, like the real mass spectrometry data. So I checked the vertical box. Okay. Then uh, I can go to symbol, right? So since I want to only see lines, and I don't want to see uh, symbols, I will. Well, let me just show you the difference that this will make. I'm going to shrink. Okay. Um, so if we click apply at this moment, we're going to see the line and the symbols. So you can see the lines and the symbols. But we don't want to see the symbol. So we can just go uh, to the symbol and check and uh, that press this uh, drop down button. And then we'll choose none. So click apply and the symbols will be gone. So now our data looks very much like the normal mass spectrometry data. And uh, we have the option of uh, selecting the color of this line as well. I like my line to be red color. So how we just go and select uh, red. Yeah. And then I'll click apply. And I want the thickness to be somewhere around uh, 2, so it can be visible in my uh, presentation. Alright, so this looks fine to me, so I'll just uh, click OK and get out of this. <coughs> Another important thing to pay attention to is the uh, range of the data. So you can see this is 0 and we are going to negative mass to charge ratio. And intensity here is also going to negative intensity value. So we will want to adjust this such that we have the two data starting, the two uh, axes starting from zero and zero. So to do that, just double click this box again. <clears throat> and then we should have this box popped up. So you can see it's starting from negative 100. So we change this to zero. And you do the same thing for the vertical axis you change this to zero as well and you click apply and now it, it looks uh, cleaner and uh, more reasonable all right uh, so why don't we just uh, get up at the moment and uh, one other thing I like to do to add aesthetic uh, properties to my plot is to um, put a mirror axis. So you can do that by just uh, checking this box or um, 
Oh, you can uh, do this style. I like to go through this other style because it's much easier. So I will uh, adjust the thickness of my of my axis to three to make it more uh, clearer in my presentation and have higher resolution. And I will adjust the length to uh, fifteen. As a matter of fact, I don't need the value of the intensity in this type of plot. I only need a master charge ratio. So I will just go ahead and change the major ticks to none and the minor ticks to none as well. And I want to use the same option for my left and right axis. So this is the left axis. The right axis will be here. And that explains the reason I like to go through this uh, method to create my mirror axis because if I had used the first option where I just click this uh, icon right here and uh, you saw how the axis popped up the other time then I'll have to go separately to the mirror axis to change this value whereas in this situation I can just change them uh, all at once while I'm doing the first uh, axis so we'll click axis and then you can see this pops up and the properties the same like we have on the uh, left axis as well so we're just going to do the same thing for the bottom axis and uh, we want the same properties and uh, in this case because we are interested in seeing the master charge ratio we are not going to uh, check the major ticks to be none rather we will change the thickness to be three and also the length to be 15 <clears throat> so you click OK and then we can go separately to the top because now the top has ticks and I don't want any tick there so I uh, uncouple it from the bottom axis so I want no ticks so change them to none and click apply alright so this looks uh, better then uh, I will label this to be mass to charge ratio and uh, I want the size to be 20 to be 36 for my label and then I want the uh, ticks label to be 28 okay but uh, it looks uh, so much uh, cluttered especially in places where we have like uh, 1600 uh, above 1000 anyways I do not want to see uh, data points beyond uh, 800 so uh, we just uh, specify my range to be maximum at 800 and uh, this looks better and uh, I will click uh, OK so then I want to delete this Tick levels and change this rename it as intensity and the maximum will be or the, the, the size will be 36 as well so let's bring this up we don't need a legend in this plot so I will just delete this now we have our mass spec data uh, already uh, plotted so what we want to do next would be to label the values of the mass to charge uh, ratios so for instance i know uh, that uh, this is uh, 412.21 and uh, to do that like you see i just went to this uh, text tool and i Clicked on it, and then you can uh, label. And I know that this is 482. Okay. And I know that this right here is uh, 743. And I know that uh, this right here is uh, 557. So the way I know is because when I perform the experiment, I kind of know the values from the uh, 
from the software or the printout and you just need to do the same and this have decimal point which how we had later but I'm just trying to show you how to label your data and then you can also uh, if you know what this uh, this uh, peaks and their value correspond to so you can make the label usually the way I do it is to have the number at the top and then uh, put the corresponding label above it for example if this is uh, maybe copper uh, with a ligand like that and uh, that is it uh, now you can export your data and uh, use it for whatsoever you plan to do with it so that's the end of this uh, tutorial and uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel to get a new video update as soon as they are released and also please uh, click the like button and uh, leave a comment in case uh, you find uh, something that you have challenged with and you need help you can leave a comment uh, requesting me to make a video about it and uh, also uh, you can also leave a comment if you find uh, this uh, video helpful and have a great day